Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and the reason why you click on today's video is most likely you have deleted some files or any other data that you had accidentally deleted and you want to restore it back and you guys have you been searching YouTube and you are in luck because this video right here is going to show you how you guys can recover any of any data that is lost, deleted, corrupted, alright? And it is recoverable using this really amazing software right here. All right, so um, on on this software, I'm gonna talk about how you guys can restore it. All right, and it basically works on all kinds of storage devices like your hard disk, your solid state drive. All right, even your USB stick, your cameras, your drone on board storage. You know your phone, Android phone. If you connect to a USB cable, all this, everything is recoverable. All right, so you don't have to worry about not losing your file or accidentally deleting your files or because of a uh, you know virus corruption and such. So um, so today we're gonna talk about this really really helpful software right here to help you recover all your files. All right, and this is a. Uh, free to use software so you guys can use this to recover basically any files you want all right so um so this software works on both um, windows 10 windows 11 win all the way down to windows 7 all right and um it is very very simple i've used this software to recover tons of my accidental delish third videos all right uh and um because as a content creator, um, sometimes you know when you misclick something and it get corrupted or you know it get deleted, uh, with the help of this software, I am very grateful that uh, this software exists so that I can really uh, recover all these kind of files. And this is not any gimmicks or what, all right? It is legitimate, and um, I use it to recover like probably a few hundreds gigs of deleted data and it's really, really helpful for those who want to recover you know uh, all, all the old data where you have memories with your you know your parents or grandparents and such and you want to get it back you can use this software all right so without further talking now let's go ahead and talk about software i'm going to show you guys the software itself and what other functions it has so without further ado now let's head on to the software itself Alright, so what you guys see right here it is the software and there is so many things that you can do on this software alone. Alright, not just recovering files, alright. So I'm gonna talk about it later, alright. As you can see I have um this is my local drive and I have a nest or uh not a nest storage, like external drive where I connect like a few thousand, few terabytes of storage to it to store my videos. Alright, so we have three external drive here, all has been detected, alright, and um yeah you can see alright. So today we're gonna to talk about the um how what it can do, alright? So uh <clears throat> there's a few important things that I wanna say, alright? Alright, so um although I said this is a free to use software, but um if you want to, you know, recover a hundred megabytes of data, alright? Uh, there's a share button on top right here because my one I guess I bought the software itself, alright? But uh if you download this for free, alright, you can uh share with your friends on Facebook or Twitter or what and you can get hundred megabytes of free you know you can recover up to 100 megabytes for free a right, worth of data for free so it is um, very worth it go ahead and share with your friends and such all right to get it and try it out and if you find this really amazing definitely go and buy it all right so um there's a lot of functions here all right so um, let's say if i want to scan like one of these drive right so recently i just formatted this drive right? it used to be my old uh, boot drive all right so um, a lot of things that has been deleted all right so uh, you can just scan all types of files, right? And you can see, basically, if you guys, if you guys see, all right, what is inside my this um, uh, this one, right? Because recently I just formatted, so there's only one folders inside here, right? Inside this drive, right? Because I deleted everything. Like I said, this was used to be my primary storage drive, but because uh, I moved all to my hard disk, so this one has been reformatted as a backup drive. So you can see so many type of files has been deleted. Alright, and it is very, very well organized. You can see the founding not file, tag files, extends, all this. Alright, and uh, let's say if you like want to open up all this, you can see like oh, what they have. Alright. All kinds of zip files, you know, PNG file, all this. Alright. So these are all the files that um that got deleted from here. Alright, and you can just open up and see which one. Alright, it's still scanning. Alright, because um, this drive involves so there's over like hundred gigs of uh, deleted files in it, so it's gonna take some time to scan it. I won't be scanning so long, else this video will be very very long. Alright, 
but you can see it is um it's finding all those deleted files you can see all the deleted files right here all right the more you scan the more this will this number will go out all right so <coughs> i think i have this uh, android uh, public key i think it's used for debugging on as you can see it's just right here and you can do a preview of it as well Right, um, because this preview is not supported because it's a .pub file type. Right, if you have like a pictures or you know <coughs> that kind of file type, right, you can definitely read, uh, preview here and you check if it's the correct one. There, recover. All right, there will be a small preview window over here and just click on recover. And uh, and yeah, so this is only seven hundred sixteen bytes. So that they give you a hundred megabytes. So you can basically. Um, recover quite a lot of stuff all right for 100 megabytes so it is you know really really cool all right i'm gonna stop scanning over here all right <coughs> because most of the files types are uh, system files all right so um yeah so this is how it's it is well categorized so easy to to see all right and uh so let's say if you have one specific file that you want to find but because maybe like you delete that like you know a few thousand gigs worth of storage and you want to like search one by one it's going to be very very time consuming maybe just one that particular you know photo that you have deleted over like a thousand gigabytes of storage right and they have this accurately find files function which i find very very helpful all right it is basically um <coughs> it's because you, if you are if you know what file type uh, you have deleted like probably it's a jpeg file or a png file you can uh, put like dot png right and the file name probably you remember is like uh you know birthday celebration so that's right birthday charge all right and you can uh write the estimate file size maybe like png image probably like no more than like probably 50 megabytes so you can write like 50 megabytes minimally probably like uh 15 megabytes all right then you go and start search then they will find out all those that matches accurately your description all those type with birth, birthday file names all right the file size not more than 50 and it's a png formatted file so you can search through so you won't have to search through so many like a few thousand png photos or you can probably search through after this it's like probably like a filter so you probably search through like probably like 50 instead of a thousand so it's really really helpful if you are searching from a sea of data all right and it's also recover from crash computer is where i find this really really interesting all right uh because i i saw some of pe people have a uh, trouble with their crash computer right so basically it's their hardware is old or such and then when it start to crash and all the important data are inside there all right so what this does is basically it create a bootable usb disk this drive all right that um you just plug out your crash computer hard disk or ssd that uh, help boot, boost up this system all right and just plug in the usb go in, go inside your crash computer bios all right and basically just just uh set the usb stick as a bootable drive and after that you can uh recover all the lost data files from the usb list so um it's very 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 interesting thing and you know, with this software you can also have this as well so it is really amazing all right Right, and they have repaired unopenable photos and unplayable videos and this has been really especially really helpful as a content creator for me all right so i i do have uh last time i used to have a dslr camera where i used to record but um it tends to have a lot of like corruptions i have no idea why it's old all right or probably like something wrong with the sd card all right every time i finish filming a video all right the video will be like instead of like you know like the date and dot mov or dot mpe4 right mp4 Alright, it will be like some weird characters and and you know when I try to open it in Windows or in Premiere Pro it just says, you know, file type not supported, you know, uh, unable to open and charge all these kind of errors. Alright, so it makes me need, need the need to, you know, reflame again. It's very very interesting. Uh, sorry, and it's very very tiring. Alright, so with this software, right, you can just repair any unopenable photos and unplayable videos. Uh, I have used it a few times and um, ninety nine percent of it works. All right, there's only one video that doesn't work. So I have no idea why, but yeah, it works mainly on most of the videos that, that it got corrupted, and it just works really, really fine. So if you guys um, probably like want to get this, want to recover like you know un unopenable photo, corrupted photos or videos, all right, uh, of your phone memories or you know any more memories that you have or any corrupted uh, photos that mean significantly to you all right you can use this 
you can get this software and use it to repair your photos and videos also can you don't have to use it to recover you can use it to recover sometime in the future you might need it right <coughs> and this one also has one really amazing features that no software has is able to connect to your nest storage and scan all those things that have been uh you know deleted from your nest storage if you guys don't know what nest storage is it's like a network uh kind network kind of um, storage where you guys can assess it like <coughs> uh, anywhere in the world uh, sorry like anywhere like uh, you can like you have a nest storage here you can uh, assess it from like outside of your house so you can store it like your own personal cloud server all right so this one can also scan your nest storage which is very interesting because nest storage tend to be you know uh, unscannable where if you connect to a PC, right, you have to go through like some type of adapter for it to do. But this one, you just connect it straight and you can scan it. But I don't have a Nest, Nest server here, so um, I couldn't scan it, okay? So you also have a recycle bin, all right? You can scan all the recycle bin that you have been deleted, all right, from your recycle bin, all right? Every computer has a recycle bin. So when you delete some files, it will first go into the recycle bin first. And if you really want to delete it, you just empty recycle bin and it's really gone. All right, so... um so with this you can recover those that you have deleted in your recycle bin probably like in the future you like oh i shouldn't have deleted that i really need it now you know right and uh, if you switch it to file because there's so many data you don't know you don't know where to find right you can switch it to file view right and they have categorized all nicely for you if you're looking for photos specifically and all are classified in their respective uh, data types like png jpeg svg icon GIF, all this, all right, video as well. All right, video, they have MP4, MKP, MPG, and more. Document, audios, so you know where to specifically find, all right. And I, I, that's how previously I talked about the previews, right? All right, let's say if you go into PNG, and now uh, you know, you can see all the kinds of um, previews over here. If you want, you can preview it, and it is quite HD, all right. And this is not yet recovered, all right. And you can see you can preview it in quite, quite a very, very clear image so that you can know specifically what you want before you recover and this really saves your 100 megabytes if you are using it for free right so you can don't really like uh, recover those unwanted stuff all right and so you can so you can recover the specific one and you know and it just really really works like wonders all right so um so yeah these are all the kinds of uh, uh, things this software does and it is very very worth it i would say all right so if you were to buy the premium one which i highly recommend you guys to get the premium of this software all right you guys can use it to recover unlimited data files or right? there's no limit on how much data you can recover and you can also get all these really amazing additional functions all in one software usually if you were to get like uh, if you want this function it's one software or it's own you want this you go to like uh, buy another piece of software or you go add on and it's gonna cost money like oh you got you want do you want this like some software that you want this or you have to pay another fifty dollars to get this function these features but this all right you can get for one time payment you can get like a lot all these functions for totally free and with this really amazing nest feature which is really helpful for those people with nest storage all right so um so yeah all right, and right now they have this um sale summer sale which is 30 percent off so you guys can get it for uh, for 30 percent off the original price really really amazing all right i recommend you guys to either get a one month license if you don't pay so much or you guys can get a lifetime license which you just pay one time for only 79.95 and you can use it for it for your whole life all right and it's like in the future you might need it you can use it i think this will be a more worth it one i would say because you know you don't have to worry and there's no you know if this one if you pay for two months it's already like more than this already so just get one this and you can just <coughs> don't worry about any like recurring payments or whatever every month you know you, you can just use it all right and this one you can get one year license for how many pc if you have like different people that want to use it so it's really really recommended you guys to check out this offer right now the link will be in the video description down below and of course you guys can use this coupon code to get 30 percent off all right or it's on your website right or this this sale page will be in the video description down below as well so highly recommend you guys to check out this really amazing software all right so that's it for today guys if you find today's video really really helpful do give a thumbs up and if you guys want more video like this in the future do uh, let me know in the comment section as well and definitely go check out uh, this 
Let us share for DDIG. All right, you can recover any files right now. So if you are out there thinking, should you try out? Definitely go ahead and try out. The link will be in the video description down below. Go ahead and check it out. And uh, without further ado, this is Force Gaming. I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't want to cry.